Hi all, this is our first try at listening to videos for our math class. So I'm going to start off with something easy. We're going to start off by looking at the uh, square root property to um, solve quadratic equations that are already set up that have perfect squares. So before we get started, I want to talk about what we used to do when we had a quadratic that looks something like this. We had something like x squared equals 9. Back in chapter 5, we had talked about um, how to solve anything of degree bigger than 1. And we said that we needed to use the zero factor theorem. We're going to change that a little bit today, but let's just review the zero factor theorem. The zero factor theorem says that one side of your equation must equal 0. So I'm going to subtract that 9 from both sides. And then the next step is to factor. So we have x plus 3, x minus 3. And then to solve for our variable, we set each of our factors equal to 0 and solve. So we get x equals 3 and negative 3. So I want you to notice that this is a special case of a polynomial of degree bigger than 1. It is a perfect square. Okay, we have a perfect square on one side. It doesn't really matter what this number is, but we do have a perfect square on one side. And for a case like this, we are going to start learning how to use the square root property to solve so we don't have to go through so many steps to actually get an answer for an equation like this. So let's look at the square root property. The square root property says that if b is a real number, and if a squared equals b, then you can take the square root of both sides and your answer has both a positive answer and a negative answer, unlike what we were doing with our radicals. We had said